Hey guys, this is Jamie with Greater Than Gatsby and today I'm here to show you a new tutorial using the Newborn Studio Collection. So you've had a couple tutorials already out there and today we wanna to use one more tool that you have yet to see and we wanna show you how effectively this works. So today we're gonna to take a look at this beautiful young lady and we're gonna run through a full edit but I want to add in a tool that will help correct the skin tone differences between her face and her shoulders and arm. The first thing we're gonna do is use the blanket patchwork action and in order to run that, we just need to use the rectangular marquee tool to highlight the area that needs to be fixed. Then just hit play on the blanket patchwork action. And for the most part that cleared it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and run it one more time just to get this little bit out of the corner. And that should take care of it, perfect. So I just hit Command-0 to recenter the image and Command-D to remove the marquee tool. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use the flaky skin remover. And I'm gonna zoom in by hitting Command-plus on the keyboard. And all of these flakes will be easily removed. The big thing here is you need to be on your brush and you need to have your opacity at 100%. I'm just using my bracket key to lower the size of my brush. And we'll go ahead and remove all of these little guys for you. So stand by while I grab some of these. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flatten and I am going to move on to the next step. But in order to make this more easy, I'm gonna run Amy's quick workflow. And that'll go ahead and stack all of the retouch in one palette for me so that I don't have to play them individually, which is perfect. All right. So we've already done the flaky skin remover. And the next thing I want to do is I want to work on warming up some of the grayer tones in her skin. So in order to do that, just go ahead and select your brush. And I have it set to about 40% opacity. And we're just gonna warm some of this up a little bit. And I that was the soft fix. And here is the strong, which is probably more appropriate for these areas right here. You can kind of see there's a little bit of those gray tones around her face, around her mouth. Let's go ahead and add some pink to her cheeks just to kind of add a little bit more dimension. It's not really needed, but it just helps add some of that dimension that I'm looking for. And the lash and brows, of course, to make those little lashes stand out. And I'll finish with the Clarity Smoother. I just have it on 50% opacity and then I'm just running over her cheeks and face. And I will toggle that Clarity Smoother on and off. And that looks good. So the next step for me is really what I came here to show you today. If you can tell her skin on her face is very different than what's on her shoulders and arms. And so one of the things that was added in this set is this baby skin tone palette. And I'm going to go ahead and run that. And I'm just going to find a tone that kind of matches what I think will work best. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and try baby tone 11 and I'm going to paint that on her skin just to kind of help match those a little bit more. Right now I'm at 50% opacity and that may need to be a little bit stronger, but let's see. And I think that's close. I am going to maybe add baby tone nine on there as well. So the nice thing is, is you can stack these tones to kind of meet what you need exactly and this will help really kind of change and match those skin areas overall and let me go ahead and toggle that on and off so you can see the difference there's before 
and there is after. And you can really tell that it has drastically helped to match that skin tone on her face. And that's the thing about newborns, to be honest. They're amazing, but they do have their own set of skin problems that we are kind of have to contend with. And this is what this set will help do. And I kind of went a little bit overboard right here, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of that off. And I think that looks pretty good. So now that I have the actual skin down, I am going to use my patch tool to kind of fix up a few more areas that I am not happy with. All right, so that's just a little bit more clean. And now that I've done that, I am going to go ahead and run the Magic Smoother specifically and just kind of soften those areas that I just cleaned up just a little bit more. All right. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and come down to our foundations. And today we're going to go ahead and run our bedtime story foundation. And this does an amazing job just as is. This is at 100%. The only thing is my personal preference, and this is up to you, is I prefer to have just maybe a little less of the texture. So I'm going to lower that down, but otherwise that looks amazing. And the next thing I'm going to run is Wakey Wakey. Wakey Wakey does a great job of really adding that contrast in. It is called Drama Pop for a reason, and that looks beautiful. Look at that change. So I'm going to reduce that down just a little bit to get it to the setting that I feel like that looks best. And then I'm gonna show you one of my secrets. I am gonna go ahead and come down and I am going to run one of my favorite actions in this set, which is Moody Contrast Plus Silk. And so when I run that, it's gonna flatten your image and it's gonna go ahead and put that on another layer. Now, I love what it does to the blanket it really feels like, to me, the dreamiest, softest Angora blanket when that is ran. So let me just show you a little before and after. But as you can see, it doesn't really give me exactly what I need on the baby. So here's my secret. After I run that, I turn that off and I come down to the background layer and I am gonna use the wonderful object selection tool or you can use the quick one tool or your quick selection tool, but let's go ahead and use that select the object tool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create the box around the baby. So as you can see, it did a great job of selecting the baby, but I'm gonna go ahead and come up to the quick selection tool and I'm going to select the minus to kind of minimize some of the selection on the blanket because I want to only reduce the opacity on the baby. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up by using the minus tool. Sorry, I had it on plus for one second. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Q and I am just going to go ahead and filter, blur, Gaussian blur and just kind of smooth out that transition. So you can see it's really smooth or really sharp right here. So I just kind of up my radius until I get that transition that I want and it's probably good right about there. And then I hit OK, hit Q again. Now that you have that edge a little bit more refined, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command C and then, or Control C on APC and then Command V or Control C. And I'm gonna place that above the Moody Contrast Plus Silk layer. And what that's gonna do is kind of add that detail back into that area. So now when I add that in, if I just show you this first, I'll click on my Moody Contrast Plus Silk, and you can remember it. I think it's beautiful on the blanket, but I don't really want it to be on her quite so strong. And so I just used that tool, the quick 
selection tool, object selection tool to select the baby and then refine it using the quick selection tool. And then I command C, command V, and now I placed it on top. And so what it did is it allowed me to add some of that detail back in. And I'll be honest, I secretly still want a little bit of that softness on her skin. So I can come down and I can up the opacity to kind of just get that look that I'm going for. And I think that's right around there, about 75%. There you go. You can kind of see that blanket really feels like the Angora softness that we think every baby should be wrapped up in. So now I'm going to go ahead and flatten. Now that I have that flattened, I'm going to go ahead and try natural light to see if it adds anything further that I like. And I do like what it does to some of the highlights, but this is too strong. So I'm going to reduce it down and just bring it up to about 10% just to make those highlights pop just a bit. And I think I want to add a little bit more light on her face. So I'm going to come up to fill flash pop and go ahead and run that. And just on a low opacity of 10%, I'm just going to kind of fill in some of that light. I think I want to make her just a slightly bit more warm with her beautiful skin. So if you remember, we have the lively warm skin action. I'm going to go ahead and play that. And I'm just going to run that all over her. And let me see what that does. I think that looks great. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and try running our color match ethereal vignette and I want to pick one of these darker tones I just want to make her pop a little bit more and kind of make it feel a little bit more dreamlike and I like how that is and you can see if I use my black brush I can add it back in or take it away black or white brush so here I want to go ahead and just with a soft brush kind of fill in those spots that it didn't do exactly what I wanted to do And I'm going to lower my opacity down. And that looks good. So that is how I would finish off this image. I think the biggest takeaway here is looking at how the skin tone palette really does a good job of evening things out. So I think that you're really going to love this new tool. I'm going to go ahead and show you the before and after. So here is the before. And you can see that there was some disparity between the skin on the face, on the forehead, and the cheeks, and the cheeks, and the shoulders. And then here is the finished product. She just looks beautiful. She is on the softest blanket. Her skin tones match. And I think that mom will really love this image. If you have any questions, make sure to ask in the comments or join our Facebook group. We hope you have a great week. Take care. Thank you.